As it happened, as my um, training developed in nephrology, um, uh, I came across and was able to um, develop um, clinical databases. And in retrospect, that fed into interests I'd had in um, um, mathematical solutions and pattern recognition uh, in my earlier research in Holland, for example. And um, there was a lot of excitement in the early 80s about how this might be applied, that many computers were developing. Initially, interestingly, um, the computational potential, the mathematical potential, the calculation potential was seen as equal to or more important than uh, what you might call the filing cabinet potential and it's the latter of course which has developed so hugely uh, in, uh, in, in recent years and the computational elements become much less important but both of them were attractive. The computational element because um, it allowed the um, the calculation of dialysis dose, which to that time had not been uh, had not been possible on a routine uh, routine, routine basis, that was uh, uh, KT over V, uh, and the filing cabinet potential because it allowed one to express um, the whole range of things that one was dealing with and to some extent um, preemptively control them. So um, expressing the filing cabinet components of the uh, information technology at that time um, was very difficult. There were relatively few journals and the work journals that there were uh, wanted to have some kind of uh, a study or experimental results about it. They weren't designed to take a general uh, comment but in retrospect we did express it but not so forcefully enough, confidently enough, that if, um, if you could calibrate your populations well enough you actually ended up in a culture of settled, no surprises. Things didn't uh, happen unexpectedly and the climate of practice uh, was significantly changed. There's no one word for that, um, but it was similar to, for example, the change of climate around renal transplantation when uh, cyclosporin replaced azathioprine as an immunosuppressive. So it turned a, an incoherent uh, unpredictable scenario into something that was much more stable and I think this is uh, still relevant because for most clinicians within the National Health Service for example they still don't have comprehensive information technology to uh, allow that kind of comprehensive description of what they're doing and I think a way into it is to um, express this lack of surprise. This is notwithstanding the fact that some people's practice is entirely about surprises and that they love uh, dealing with the uncertainty of clinical practice and also the fact that it's not particularly helpful for a teaching where students enjoy change and uh, drama, uh, uh, for example. Uh, there, there are disadvantages to having a controlled culture, but in terms of uh, results and outcomes for patients, for economy and planning and so on, there's no doubt that a comprehensively described clinical scenario is to be preferred. I'd observed looking back that actually I've always had a rather similar series of quite discreet preoccupations when I look back at uh, letters and publications uh, with a kind of pattern recognition mathematical uh, element somewhere and some kind of synthetic rather than analytic um, uh, preference. 